Susan Doyle. sharing some good news that I recently got. You know, I, I'm dealing with a situation where in the district attorney's office, people who are dealing with my office for the most part are not very happy because you got to figure if you're having dealings with my office, you're either a defendant charged with a crime or you're a victim of a crime. So not a very pleasant situation anyway, but, uh, you know, we, we get uh, people who complain and are disgruntled and everything. So it's rare that we hear positive or good things, but I recently heard something I want to share with you guys. We just finished up a week of Superior Court last week, and we had a Superior Court judge uh, from outside the district come in. He's actually uh, back over toward the Greensboro area. And very well respected Superior Court judge. He came in and, and held court, and uh, at the end of the session, he met with our resident Superior Court judge had told him that of all the counties where he's held court in North Carolina and seen and had interactions and dealing with the DA's office, he wanted to let us know that he felt like that the DA's office here in Johnston County was the best that he had seen all throughout North Carolina. So <laughs> lot coming from that judge who, as I said, is very well respected, but obviously travels across to hold court in many counties in North Carolina, and, and it reinforced what I already knew, that I'm so very blessed to have such a good staff of, of assistant DAs and support staff, so I'm, I'm very, very grateful for that. Uh, on, the, on some other news, I'll be quick. At, I've applied uh, the last, I think, three years, I've applied to receive a grant that's specific to domestic violence cases. Uh, it's a grant through the Governor's Crime Commission, and it's federal money that has to come in every year to North Carolina that's allocated specifically toward combating violence against women. So it has to be used in that manner. And for the last several years, I've applied for this grant and have, I, I have not received it. So we just recently got word that finally, after three years, we have been approved to receive that grant. So it'll be around September 1st, but uh, we will have extra resources and particularly uh, a prosecutor and a legal assistant devoted solely to domestic violence cases. And this is an area that really, really needs a lot of attention. The victims in these cases need uh, assistance and help and a lot of attention from the very beginning that at this point we just don't have the resources to do enough of that. And so I'm very excited that we'll be able to get this grant because we can focus on uh, a lot more attention to these very important domestic violence cases. So appreciate your support and it's great to see you all again. Thank you. Thank you.